at 77 meters 92. And now the five pair of the meter runners getting ready. There are 15 of them. It's the one Britain through, Rob Denmark. But this promises to be really, really strong. The 5,000 meters in depth has improved so much this season. Well, I mean, we've got so many athletes in here who've run under 13, 10. We've got seven men who've run under 13, 10 for a 5,000 meters. And I can't believe there's ever been a race where there's been so much talent stacked up in one championship event. There's my favorite, Khalid Scar. He chose to run the 5,000 rather than the 10,000 meters. He's the fastest man in the world this year. And the only title that's avail available to him that he's never won is a world championship title on the track. Twice world cross country champion, Olympic 10,000 meter champion, trying to become the world 5,000 meter champion. But he's taking on the Kenyans, he's taking on the Ethiopians, and he's gonna have some race to run in order to try and do that. He makes a point of saying it's very difficult to be alone taking on the Kenyans. And of course he's done that at world cross country level, twice the world champion. And he's done that in the Olympic Games as well. 348 is Gebra Selassie, only 20, the world junior 5,000 and 10,000 meter champion from Ethiopia. And so the run is very unsettled, but our way they go. They're in two groups, and as in the women's 3,000 meters, they split as they turn into the, they join up as they turn into the straight. Staggered, so they all run the same distance, and Carded Scar on the near side. Followed by uh, Jasiri and Bikila. Seven, seven, eight, and the lead is Mike Jasiri. Second place, Khalid Scar. And with so many Africans in this, it's unlikely to be tactical. They do like to inject pace. If it is tactical, it'll be tactical because they will go fast. They'll run at speed. Mike Chisire there, the brother of Joseph Chisire, who was fourth in the Olympic Games in Los Angeles and fourth again in Seoul. And he's stretching out the pace there. 61, first lap, absolutely world record pace, no question but he's stretching away from Khaled Scar, who's deciding sensibly to go no faster than this, the pace that he's decided to run at, which won't be under 13-minute pace, I'm sure. Khaled Scar in second place, and then Bitog, the Olympic silver medalist behind him. Coming on the outside, Ismail Karui. He's the brother of Richard Chalimo, and Richard Chalimo, remember, ran in the Olympic Games against Khaled Scar, and they came to war on the last lap, and there's a lot of ill feeling still between the Kenyans, particularly Richard Chalimo and Khaled Scar. And Ismail Karui, who was a junior last year, won the Junior World Championships last year on the cross country and then stepped in this year and was third. But Mike Chisire, I think, is going a suicidal pace. I think Khaled Scar is more sensible in second place, a little bit more conservative. It's fast enough there. It's going to be hard enough. It's going to be a tough race. And Mike Chisire, they're pressing it along goes through 800 meters. Well, the clock didn't stop, it did stop. Just over two minutes for 800 meters. Just over four minute mile pace, but they've got to run more than three miles. So I think Shasira is going far too quickly, even for a Kenyan distance runner. Well, a quick uh, glance at the ship.